Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles and this morning we're visiting with Kevin Lyons. He's the Monroe County Extension Agent for Agriculture and Natural Resources. And so just want to talk a little bit today about where the industry is now because it's been a, it's changed quite a bit. It has changed quite a bit. It's still very important uh, agricultural industry for a lot of farmers in Kentucky. Uh, but it's kind of like a lot of other industries. It seems like it's kind of consolidated where there's fewer dairy farms, but we're getting more production. So bigger dairies are getting bigger and smaller dairies are seem like they're kind of being absorbed by the bigger dairies as far as their herd numbers. So our cow numbers are about 44,000 in Kentucky, uh, but our overall, in the, since I think like 2006, the number of dairy farms Nationwide is kind of fell by about 25%, but our milk production is up about 25% and our cow production is up about 20%. So we're making gains, uh, but unfortunately that comes at the cost of some small dairy farms that used to be plentiful around here. That's not really no longer the case. There's a lot of management. Uh, there's some science, you know, nutrition, health protocols, all of those things that go in. Genetics is a big one, improved genetics. Uh, but the, what drives all that is the hands-on, the boots on the ground people that, that are seeing to those cows. They have comfortable beds, they get fed. Uh, most of them are staying out of the weather. They, they get, the better you, farmers figured out a long time ago, take care of your livestock and they'll perform. So uh, not just because you care about them, but it's also a management decision to increase your milk production. So they are pretty much pampered. Yeah, I've seen somewhere they have like back rubbers and fans. I mean. <laughs> Water misters. <laughs> I mean, food's there whenever they want it. It's They've got it pretty good. They do. Sure. They do. But it's because of the care of that farmer. That's right. That's because he cares about that. It takes a certain dedication uh, to still be in the dairy industry today. It's not always driven by the dollar. It's driven by the history or the, or the desire of that person. So but it's still a business and you still want to make money at it, but it uh, takes a lot of work. It's very labor intensive. It doesn't matter really if you're a, a family farm that you're milking 50 and it's just you and your family, uh, you're probably doing it at least a couple times a day, every day. Mm -hmm. I used to kind of hear folks say, I've not had a, I'm not missed a milking in 30 some years. And I would think, wow, that's, that's really impressive because that, requires such a level of dedication and such a love for farming and dairy and to do that. But it's it's nonstop, it's every day. Somebody's gotta be seeing to all that. And it goes from the crops to when the cows are calving, to getting them on the line, to doing the actual milking. The business end of it is a big part. So it's a, it's a full-time job for sure. Uh, typically a, a cow will uh, turn into a cow when she has her first calf. So up until that point, she's a heifer. Most of the heifers will try to have a calf, try to manage that for their calving at about two years of age. And then she'll start producing milk when she has the calf. So the calves are well taken care of. They're, they're fed, they're pampered just like the cows and probably even better sometimes. And then the cow produces milk. She'll have about a 305 day lactation. During that time, she'll get rebred You'll turn her dry for about two months where if you take her off the line, let her rest and replenish. So you get about the 305 days out of it in a two day dry period. About a year, about a half a year is what you're shooting for. All right, Kevin. And one of the other things I feel like that has changed is, you know, several years ago, we couldn't just go to the grocery store and pick up some local milk, mm -hmm. but we have, we have a couple producers that now yes. we can get milk and that is fresh milk that's fresh that's family farm still and then you know they're they're so um critical to maintaining the that forward movement of agriculture because sometimes we get uh, some knocks on us for certain things but Anything local, anything fresh is always a plus. Absolutely. So go out, celebrate June is Dairy Month, get some of that local milk. Uh, tell us what your favorite is. Kevin, appreciate you Thank being you. here with us today. And salute to all of our dairy farmers across Kentucky and the United States. Thanks for watching the Farm and Home Show. We hope you have a great day.